Hi, thank you for tuning in to Homeschool Homesteaders. And today we're going to show a video about identifying poison ivy. So today's objective is to identify poison ivy and distinguish it from other similar lookalikes. So it is springtime on my property and the poison ivy is coming out. And always remember it has three leaves. The leaves are pointed. The bottom leaves look like mittens and the old saying leaflet like mittens will itch like the dickens. So in the springtime, poison ivy is reddish, just red leaves, and it's camouflaged. These video clips, that's because I'm on my hands and knees and having the camera way up close. But if you're standing up, walking barefooted in the springtime, you would never see these. And this is why springtime poison ivy reaction is the worst. Now take a look at this picture and find the poison ivy plant. You would immediately go to this green plant with three leaves and say that's poison ivy. But apparently that's not. That's a strawberry. The plants, which I circled in yellow, that's poison ivy. So you see how hard it is to find poison ivy? So from April to May, you're going to have reddish plants. Then from June to September, you're going to have the greenish plants. And they still blend in and still hard to see. Plus, there's many lookalikes. And finally, from October to November, you're going to have kind of yellowish, reddish. And they also blend in. So camouflage. You really need to be trained to pick out poison ivy. So right here on the right side, we have a poison ivy plant. But... The most common similar lookalike to a poison ivy plant is this plant. And what is it? It is a box elder. Now this is a tree on my property which resembles a poison ivy. But this is a box elder. And I don't know how many people told me, Oh look, that's a poison oak or that's a poison ivy. You should chop it down but do not burn it. But nope, that's a box elder. Very common. Look Sometimes alike. box elders are little baby plants that grow from the ground and they look like poison ivy. So the difference between poison ivy and box elder is that the leaves of the box elder are not as waxy as the poison ivy leaves and must be compared side by side by amateurs. Uh, three leaf clusters are opposite on box elders and the three leaf clusters are alternate on the poison ivy plant. Here is another common similar lookalike. And what is this? This is very common, especially if you purposely grow it. This is the raspberry or the blackberry. Like I said, most of us purposely grow this because we enjoy the fruits. But the difference is that blackberry and raspberry will have thorns on them. Poison ivy do not. They also have berries. Uh, blackberries and raspberries do have berries and so does poison ivy. Poison ivy will have white berries. But the major difference is thorns. Poison ivy will not have thorns. So here I have some wild green strawberry plants. And look up here. This is a poison ivy plant growing right next to the strawberries. Keep in mind that in the summer, you might be picking strawberries and you'll get a reaction. So the difference between strawberries and poison ivy is that Strawberry leaves are toothed or serrated. The strawberry leaves are opposite from each other and not alternate like the poison ivy. So in the summer when you're picking strawberries, be aware that poison ivy does grow next to it. On my property at least. This right here is another common lookalike and it's the Virginia Creeper. 
Now the biggest difference between a Virginia Creeper and Poison Ivy is the five leaves. So Virginia will have five leaves. Also, Virginia Creeper leaves, they're kind of serrated or toothed. Now this plant is horrible. It looks totally like a Poison Ivy plant. And this is the hog peanut. It's actually a good survival food if you're a doomsday prepper. But the only difference is the hog peanuts, the leaves are egg-shaped. The sides of the leaves are smooth. And the bottom two leaves are not shaped like mittens. Another similar look-alike to poison ivy is the po poison oak. And poison oak will give you the same reaction as a poison ivy plant. So if you see a poison oak run or get rid of it now you could always resort to chemicals to get rid of your poison ivy on your lawn or homestead uh, chemicals only work for like a few months next spring they'll come back out and so the best way to get rid of poison ivy in my opinion is you rip them with the roots so put on some gloves and i'm struggling here to put on a glove that's because i'm holding the camera but put on several layers of gloves and start pulling. Uh, walk around, usually around the edge of the forest. That's where they're growing and just rip. You pull with the roots, pull as much as you can. And then you throw them into the trash. Make sure your bin is open for easy access and just throw the roots into the garbage bin. Uh, do not burn them because the smoke can cause reaction as well. And it is possible to get rid of poison ivy from your yard. Thank you for watching.